The PBA does not know what to do. Jason Belmonte is running scared. Why watch another video of him or professionals like him showing their elite skills when you can watch me suck at bowling? Welcome to the fourth final week of December 2018th edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling, which happens to be Christmas Day, Gardner Ten Pins, Gardner, Massachusetts. As we saw in last week's episode, albeit by just one pin, nonetheless a new high score as you see there of 161. So it's very likely this last game won't be as high, but will it be a good one? Will it be a bad one? Are we going to be in our average territory in terms of my abilities? There's going to be one way to find out, and that's to watch. But of course, before we watch that, I have to tell you that... Watch Me Suck at Bowling is proud to sponsor the hit Candlepin TV show, King of the Palace, where you can watch people that are actually good at Candlepin instead of me when I'm doing it. Type in King of the Palace in the YouTube search bar and watch your heart's content. And if you like what you see, go to youtube.com slash new palace lanes. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to see videos as they come along. And now, once again, time for the fatter pins, the bigger ball, and some guy who's really bad at it by laws of averages. Frame one, ball one, new high single previous game. Because they play loud music here, we have to mute most of the audio. So here comes ball number one, looking pretty good, and a hair full. We got nine. For those of you who like the pin setters, here's the AMF clearing away the dead wood. There she goes. Put down the last pin, and there you have it. Ball two. The four pin all by itself, and because it's close to the corner, not quite as easy and way overcorrected, and that is no good that is a niner again for those of you that are pin setter fans here's the amf setting some new pins frame two, ball one. nine is an okay start it's only the first frame here comes the ball there she goes pretty good again just a hair thin and once again nine Ball two. This time it's the three pin all by itself and there's 20 inches of lane in which to get it. There goes the ball, once again overcompensated, barely missed, niner. In candle pins this wouldn't be that bad of a start, in ten pins it's a bit weak. Nonetheless we got a pair of nines in one and two, we are at 18. Three, three, ball one. Will things get better? Let's find out. Here comes the ball. It's going way left. And we only get three. Ball two. Hopefully the second ball will be better. Very wide real estate to get something. There's the ball way to the right. And so much for getting better. That's a five. Frame four, ball one. Once again, we got a pin stuck at the elevator. If it does interfere with play, pins will be deducted. Here comes the ball. Down she goes, looking pretty good, and strike, and no interference. Those two frames were a mixed bag. Of course we were going to have an awful frame once in a while. And we had one in three with a five. And then we got a strike in four. So far we're at 33 with two El Stinko the bonus balls. What will they add up to? Frame 5, ball 1, 2 all stinkos. Hopefully this is the sign of improvement we've been looking for. Here comes El Stinko 1, way to the right, and 1 so far. El Stinko 1 living up to its name. Ball 2. Hopefully the second ball will make up for the first one. Very makeable spare, no matter the discipline. There's the ball again, right? And we got another six, seven. Frame six, ball one. The only good thing about the seven to some degree is it fills a strike as well. Here comes the first ball, looking pretty good. Then it went left. We got four. Ball two. 
This is tougher to convert, but we got a whole half to do things. We got about eight or nine inches, which nothing could happen. There's the ball and niner. Those two frames were a bit weak. We got a seven and five, which does fill the strike and helps a bit. And then we got a nine and six. So far, 56. Good in candle pins. Okay in duck pins. Not so much in 10 pin. It looks like we're going to end this one in a whimper. Very weak game. Might not even break 100. There goes the ball. Looking pretty good. And strike. That'll help. But will it do the job? Frame 8 ball 1, 2 stinkos. What will the bonus be? We got two balls to make it a good one. There goes the first one. Looking pretty good. A little thin to the right. Leaving the 4 pin with a 9. Ball two. We face this situation already. The four pin and a little less than 20 inches of lane to do the job. There goes the ball and this time we do the job. Spare on strike. That is what we needed a long time ago. Got a strike in seven and then a spare in eight which made the ten fill for seven. So far in 86 with El Stinko the bonus ball. Frame nine, ball one. Of course, it's also El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Down she goes, and... El Stinko stunk for the pins this time. It's a strike. Last frame, ball one, two El Stinkos. Hopefully these two will add up big. Maybe even a turkey. That way the score will really jump. There's the ball way off to the right. No turkey. No chance. Three. Last ball. At least the game's in three digits, albeit not very good score in terms of laws of averages. There's a second ball way to the left, and wow. Well, you know the name of the show, right? The ending was pretty bad, but this is one of my average scores, which isn't really saying much. That strike in 9, but then the lousy 3 and 10 with a lousy 3 fill. You got a not so great 112. And that'll be it from Gardner 10 Pins in Gardnerhay, Massachusetts. And that'll be it for the year 2018. Next Watch Me Suck at Bowling will be New Year's Day 2019. And plans were to do it at the exact same place the New Year's special happened before. Collins Bolodrome in Billerica, Massachusetts. Unfortunately, the one good day I had to go there was the day that they have their special needs leagues and they closed the place early, so there was no way to do it. With time constraints, we went back to the home house, which is Mason's, the world's easiest candle pin bowling alley. For the New Year's Day episode, there will be a special triple game, and then the rest of the four weeks will be the traditional singles. And that'll be it for Watch Me Suck at Bowling for the whole year of 2018. This is GeorgeF551 saying hope you enjoyed, have a good one, and see you next year.